They are annoying because they don't go. They are creepy because they chase you. If you try to see them, they will disappear. I am not telling a horror story but talking about the eye floaters. Look at these transparent creatures in the water. So beautiful. But imagine if they were inside your eyes. Eye floaters are quite similar. It appears that they are in front of your eyes but they are not. They are actually at the back section of the eyeball. They are not insects or microorganism but clumps of the gel itself. The nature has filled a unique gel inside your eyeballs to keep them round. This gel also works as a shock absorber for the eyes. 90% of your eye is filled with this gel only. Doctors call it vitreous gel but I love to keep the things simple. So let's just call it gel. So as the time wheel moves and you start aging, the gel of your eyeball starts degrading or become more liquid. This sometimes causes clumps in the gel chamber of the eyeball. The shadow of these clumps when fall on the retina, you start noticing them. Son, there is something but there is nothing. Floaters can be a sign of a dangerous problem called retinal detachment. A recent eye injury could be the reason for this. In such a case, permanent blindness is also possible if left untreated. However, good news is that in most of the cases, floaters are not a matter of worry at all. In fact, eye floaters are very common. After examining the eyes, there will be a good chance that the doctor will suggest to wait and observe. Why? Because after few months or years, the floaters settle automatically at the bottom of the eyeball. Moreover, your brain is very smart. I am saying this for a reason. You can see your nose, but you don't see it. Why? Let me say it again. You can see your nose, but you don't see it. Why? The secret is adaptation. Neuro adaptation. Your eyes see your nose, but your brain smartly ignores it. Brain does the same magic with floaters. You will be amazed to know that after some time, your brain automatically adapts and ignores the annoying floaters. As a result, you become very comfortable. Now, what can you do at home to get rid of floaters? You may include pineapple in your diet. Enzymes in the pineapple may decompose the floaters. A research conducted in Taiwan signaled that pineapple can be a good tool against eye floaters. As per that research, majority of the participants noticed improvement. However, instead of relying on any home remedy, it is suggested to let an eye doctor see the issue and act according to his advice. There are medical treatments like vitrectomy which might help to get rid of the floaters but risks like infection, bleeding, lens damage etc are associated with vitrectomy. So take the decision very carefully. Another method is to shoot the floaters with a low energy laser gun. But wait, you don't have to do it yourself. A well trained eye doctor does it with a medical grade laser. This method is called laser vitriolysis. Unfortunately, even this has side effects. Now, the conclusion is that floaters are common and most of the times the problem gets fixed by itself. Still, it is important to see an eye doctor. If you are experiencing floaters along with the flashes as well, then it can be a sign of retinal detachment which will need quick medical intervention. Uff, that's all about floaters. And yes, information provided in this video is not a medical advice. 